Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is, of course, Wednesday, and that means it is update day here in Warzone and Modern Warfare 3. We've got another routine weekly update live, meaning that with this one, there is no major download or required or anything like that. Uh, whenever you go to jump onto the game next, especially if you have not played since yesterday, where we saw some surprise patch notes go live, you will have to go through the whole update requires restart loop. But then after you go through that, you cycle through that, you'll be all good to go. Everything will be automatically applied to your game as of the time you're seeing this video basically now we do have some new content live today some in-game changes we also though have some very curious news that surfaced this morning in regards to call of duty so this is stemming from insider gaming and tom henderson one of the more credible names in the gaming industry charlie intel charles intelligence has also been posting about this as well so lots of credible sourcing with this and it's in regards to modern warfare 3 coming to xbox game pass as soon as sometime this month this has been a very big conversation ever since it was initially revealed that Microsoft and Xbox were looking to acquire Activision Blizzard and now obviously since the acquisition's gone through it's just been a matter of hey when is this going to happen and according to insider gaming it could be this month as mentioned they say Microsoft is set to launch Modern Warfare 3 in Xbox Game Pass later this month the 2023 Call of Duty title will mark the first of the older games coming to Xbox Game Pass developed by sledgehammer the game generally received positive reviews from the community but single player was too short and lackluster but keyword there this is the first of the older cod games meaning that we should in theory start to see some older classic cod games make their way to game pass as well obviously we already know that black ops 6 is going to be a day one game pass option when that launches later this year but this is definitely a big step forward in terms of one of the more anticipated game pass updates so far However, with this also comes a big change to Game Pass as well in the form of the pricing. It is being increased. This was also rumored to come alongside the announcement of Call of Duty coming to Game Pass. Uh, and Tom Henderson goes on to say, it's understood that the announcement could come as soon as today, which is believed to have been the original plan for the Xbox Game Pass price increase in changes. The subscription service price increased by as much as 25% in some regions. Starting on July 10th, Game Pass Ultimate is going to from $16.99 to $19.99 a month, a $3 increase. PC Game Pass will jump from $9.99 to $11.99 per month and continue to give you day one access to releases. But yeah, definitely some cool stuff going on there. If you are an active Game Pass subscriber or you've been considering it, we finally have uh, news of the very first Call of Duty title to hit Game Pass here very soon. And I imagine it'll be followed up by other classics as well. Really curious to see what's going to happen when we get the likes of Black Ops 2 or MW2, 2009 of course, uh, on Game Pass to see if that sort of like revives the servers a little bit and what that'll be like because it could be pretty fun to revisit those with a bit more of an active player base but yeah definitely some big news there now shifting focus away from game pass and into today's major content updates and different gameplay changes and whatnot we did end up seeing a new aftermarket update within warzone and mw3 actually our last one of this season uh next week will be more of like a blueprint reward to round things out but as we get into all the details here all the other content that was updated today this is your one-stop shop for everything going on in cod so if you want to guarantee that every single day you are up to date with the need to know info feel free to hit that subscribe button and if you enjoy this video a like rating is always seriously appreciated anyway when you jump into your challenges menu you are going to see we have the week seven challenges now live and the reward this week is the jack gunslinger for the mw2 basilisk this actually gives the basilisk eight rounds with a faster fire rate Kind of reminds me of the OG MW2 2009 uh, Magnum back in the day. But as far as these challenges go, as always, complete any five between Battle Royale, Zombies, and Multiplayer. On the MP side of things, you need to get 25 Operator Akimbo kills with a recommended weapon, 15 Operator kills with a suppressed recommended handgun, 10 Operator Clean kills, so those are kills without taking damage with recommended handguns, 3 Operator kills with one magazine five times with recommended handguns, 10 operator clean kills with iron sights equipped to a recommended marksman, uh, 15 operator headshot kills with a recommended handgun, and then five operator kills while sliding or mid-air with the Jack Scimitar aftermarket part on the FJX Horus. 
For zombies, get 150 akimbo kills with a recommended weapon, 75 suppressed recommended handgun kills, 250 critical kills with a recommended handgun, 5 kills with one magazine 10 times with a recommended handgun, 75 clean kills with iron sights on a recommended marksman, 75 critical kills with a recommended handgun, and then also 250 critical kills with the Jack Scimitar on the FJX Horus. And then for Battle Royale, first four are going to be Urzikstan based, and it's going to be operator kills in the various different regions. So Northwest, Eastern, Central, and Southern. Uh, place in the top 10 three times, complete five contracts, and open 30 loot caches. Complete any five of those you'll get the jack gunslinger and then also one more tier towards your season four mastery camo that'll finally be earnable come this time next week now this week we also saw a handful of new event updates in game as well obviously we saw the conclusion of some events tomorrow it seemingly would indicate that we are going to see the conclusion of the mutation resurgence quads event within warzone as that's got a countdown timer on it specifically but as for today and some of the new things that were updated the alter strain event has some new tiers that you can now go through and unlock there's a couple of new rewards you can go through and max out uh tier two here then get some new ones throughout three and four keep in mind that next week on Wednesday our final weekly update for season four we're going to end up seeing the final rewards available for alter strain and we'll be able to get the camo for this and then ultimately the full-on blueprint reward for this as well then as of today we do have a new two-week event now live this will last all the way until the end of season four with vortex death slayer this is a nine uh, reward event basically and for every single one of these rewards you have to go through and uh, do some specific challenges ultimately to get the press F SBA 545 blueprint that honestly looks kind of cool. It's got like the uh, black or gray base with like the blue highlights. I kind of think it's pretty clean. But as for the challenges for some double XP in multiplayer, get 10 operator multi kills in zombies, kill two enemies with a single shot 10 times in war zone uh, in battle royale, get three operator kills using rifles. For a new emblem and multiplayer get 40 kills while using a suppressed weapon with the hijacked iff strobe perk equipped uh in zombies 75 kills of the melee while ether shroud is active in warzone battle royale three operator kills using smgs for a new charm five operator kills with an extreme magnification scope equipped on a sniper zombies get 200 critical kills with the scope sniper in warzone battle royale complete two bounty contracts for a new sticker uh, in multiplayer, get five operator double kills with a launcher. In zombies, kill 15 mimics. In plunder, get five operator kills using snipers. For a double weapon XP token in multiplayer, get 20 operator backstab kills with the blacklight flashlight perk equipped. In zombies, 200 critical kills with a silenced SMG. And then in plunder, five operator kills using shotguns. For a tier skip in multiplayer, get three operator one shot one kills with a shotgun in one life five times. In zombies, get 200 one shot one kills with a pack a punch sniper. And in battle royale, complete two most one contracts. For a large decal, perform 10 operator executions in multiplayer. In zombies, get 10 consecutive kills without taking damage 10 times of the melee. And then in resurgence, get three operator kills using battle rifles. For a double battle pass token, in multiplayer, get 25 operator kills with a throwing knife for melee. In zombies, get 120 zombies kills with throwing knives. And in resurgence, three operator kills using SMGs. And then lastly, for a new calling card in multiplayer, spot 20 operators with the attack camera or recon drone. In zombies, get 200 kills with Juggernog active. And in resurgence, complete one big game bounty. You complete all nine of these rewards and unlock all of these, you'll get that press F rewards blueprints. And then lastly, we do have a new playlist update now live in multiplayer. As mentioned, we should see that playlist update tomorrow in Warzone regarding mutation quads and everything going on there. But for MP this week, we've got standard mutation. We've got get higher around. So if you're still trying to get those camos, definitely go through and get that done. We've got Havoc. We've got the brand new get higher mosh pit, which is actually 6v6 on the get higher castle. So they have turned this into a 6v6 multiplayer map. So that's very cool. We've got small map mosh pit, headshot only the season four mosh pit 10v10 mosh pit war cutthroat blueprint gunfight ground war and then lastly invasion so yeah with all that being said that is effectively everything that ended up changing in today's new updates for mw3 and warzone and that's gonna wrap things up if you enjoyed be sure to drop a like it's always really appreciated it does really help the channel grow and if you're new here you want to help be a part of that channel growth every single day this is your one-stop shop for all the need to know details for call of duty so feel free to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you later. Peace out.